Hello, this is Lego Wizard, and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you Reptar in action. Reptar is one of the five main Lego Mindstorms machines, and I've done a video on showing you how he all works. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how he moves. So this guy has a pretty cool uh, m movement to show you how that works. So I'll just go to the Commander app that I've already got the Bluetooth set up, just to avoid complications with Bluetooth loss. So to, to start this guy up, what you have to do is, you've got to actually hold your finger on this and then move him where you want to go. So if you tilt a device back, he'll go back. If you tilt it forward, he'll go, he'll go forward all by himself. So the same uh, thing works for left and right. So it allows for a lot of movement. So that it allows for really snake-like movement, and it makes them go really fast if you put it more down or more up. So it works really well in that sense, and it just looks so good when it's just moving around the place. They still have to go off screen. Let me just quickly go and put him back where he's supposed to be. All right. So now I've got him back on the screen. Uh, I'll show you what he looks like when he's uh, w w what kind of uh, motions or feature he has. So. First off, his main feature is out in the front. It's a really cool action feature, probably one of my favorites. It's where, this is me infrared sensor, it actually can detect movements in front of it, such as maybe somebody's hand. So what happens is, when you put your hand in front of it, it'll come out and try to attack you. This is terrified Lance Renee. <laughs> and it's just... It just jumps out at you because because this motor works so quickly to turn back and forth. It it makes for a really effective looking bite, oh. <laughs> and it just looks so good when it does it. All the all the beams and lift arms working together to make it look just great. So I'm gonna go test this out on one last thing. All right, I'm gonna see if you can try and detect the buildable figure Darth Vader. Maybe not, but definitely you can knock him over. Alright, let's try that again. Alright, this time I'm just going to try and hover Vader next to him. <laughs> they caught me off guard again. But, <laughs> it just looks so well, just so good, all the way that the beams and lift arms work together to attack Vader. And overall, when it's just moving around, it just looks so easy to move around, the movements are really fluid, and it's really easy to just use the iPad without having to worry about connection issues or anything. Uh, at times it can get stuck, going back or forth in a certain direction, when the connection drops for a second, which can be annoying, because then you have to completely reconnect the Bluetooth, but it works really well, all the action features, and definitely this one relies more on the, the aesthetic look of the spike pieces. Those just really help to bring out how dangerous and vicious this, this thing looks, especially when it's trying to attack you. <laughs> well, anyway, this is the LEGO Wizard, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more Brick Plus updates, and definitely more Mindstorms videos in the future. This is the LEGO Wizard. Have a nice day.